The sun hung low over the horizon as the cargo ship, the Sea Voyager, prepared to depart from the bustling port of Miami. Captain Jonathan Hayes stood on the bridge, his weathered face reflecting years of navigating the seas. He checked the ship's logs one last time before giving the order to set sail. The crew, a mix of seasoned sailors and fresh-faced recruits, bustled about the deck, securing cargo and preparing for the journey ahead. Among the crew was Sarah Bennett, a young engineer who had recently joined the Sea Voyager after completing her training. She was eager to prove herself on her first long voyage. As the ship slowly pulled away from the dock, Sarah looked out at the Miami skyline disappearing behind them. Little did she know, this voyage would be unlike any other she had experienced. As the Sea Voyager made its way into the open sea, the crew settled into their routines. The ship cut through the waves with ease, its powerful engines propelling it forward. Captain Hayes kept a watchful eye on the horizon, mindful of the unpredictable nature of the Bermuda Triangle. As they entered the infamous region, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled over her. The air seemed to crackle with a strange energy, and she couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. She brushed it off his nerves, but as night fell and the ship sailed deeper into the triangle, the feeling only grew stronger. It was a calm night, the sea stretching out around them like a vast, dark mirror. Sarah was on duty in the engine room, monitoring the ship's systems, when the first signs of trouble appeared. The lights flickered momentarily, and the hum of the engines faltered. Before she could react, an eerie silence descended over the ship. The engines had died. Sarah rushed to the bridge to inform Captain Hayes of the situation. As she made her way through the deserted corridors, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. When she reached the bridge, she found it empty. Panic began to rise in her chest as she searched the ship for any sign of the crew, but they had all vanished without a trace. Alone on the silent ship, Sarah's mind raced with possibilities. Had they encountered a supernatural force in the Bermuda Triangle? Or was there a more logical explanation for their disappearance? As Sarah searched the ship for any clues to the crew's disappearance, she began to notice strange occurrences. Objects would move on their own, doors would slam shut without warning, and eerie whispers echoed through the empty corridors. She felt as though she was being watched, and the feeling of dread that had settled over her only grew stronger with each passing moment. Desperate for answers, Sarah delved into the ship's history. She discovered that the Sea Voyager had a dark past, with rumors of strange happenings and unexplained disappearances surrounding it. Some even claimed that the ship was cursed, doomed to wander the seas forever. As she pieced together the ship's past, Sarah became convinced that the answers to the crew's disappearance lay within its haunted halls. Determined to uncover the truth, she delved deeper into the ship's mysteries, unaware that something sinister was stirring in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle. In her search for answers, Sarah stumbled upon an old journal hidden away in the captain's quarters. It belonged to a previous captain of the Sea Voyager, and its pages were filled with chilling accounts of paranormal encounters and inexplicable events that had plagued the ship for years. According to the journal, the ship had become trapped in a time loop within the Bermuda Triangle, doomed to repeat its final voyage over and over again. Each time it ventured into the Triangle, it would vanish from the world, only to reappear days later with no memory of what had transpired. As Sarah read on, she realized that the only way to break the cycle was to uncover the truth behind the ship's curse and put an end to the paranormal forces that held it captive. Armed with this newfound knowledge, she set out to confront the dark entity that lurked within the Bermuda Triangle. As Sarah ventured deeper into the heart of the Triangle, she could feel the malevolent presence growing stronger. The air crackled with energy, and the very fabric of reality seemed to warp around her. Determined to break the curse and free the sea voyager from its endless torment, she pressed on, guided by the journal's cryptic instructions. Finally, she reached the epicenter of the triangle, where a swirling vortex of energy crackled with otherworldly power. It was here that she came face to face with the source of the ship's curse, a powerful entity that had been trapped within the triangle for centuries. With the knowledge she had gained from the journal, Sarah was able to communicate with the entity and learn the truth behind its imprisonment. Long ago, it had been a guardian of the seas, tasked with protecting ships from the dangers of the Triangle. However, a powerful curse had trapped it within the vortex, twisting its nature and driving it to madness. Moved by Sarah's determination and compassion, the entity agreed to release the Sea Voyager from its grip. With a final burst of energy, the vortex dissipated and the ship was free once more. As the Sea Voyager emerged from the Bermuda Triangle, the crew returned their memories of the strange events hazy and fragmented. Sarah alone remembered everything that had transpired, but she knew that the truth was too unbelievable to share. 
With the curse broken, the Sea Voyager continued its journey, its crew grateful to be back in familiar waters. As for Sarah, she had proven herself not only as a capable engineer but also as a fearless adventurer. The experience had changed her, instilling in her a newfound respect for the mysteries of the sea and the supernatural forces that lurked within it. As the Sea Voyager sailed on, its hull cutting through the waves with renewed purpose, Sarah knew that she would always carry the memories of her journey into the unknown. And though she could never speak of what had truly happened in the Bermuda Triangle, she knew that she had played a part in breaking a curse that had plagued the seas for centuries.